but uh, to get in yeah so i think you can lead it sir for now to and then maybe next time delegate it to nadine on next sounds tuesday then good. sounds good okay let's go ahead and begin thank you everybody for coming in a uh okay let's let's pause for a moment here i want to share something with everyone okay so um from from time to time we actually i want to develop this okay i want to have this dynamic uh think of me as your coach and you guys are all players on the team okay so we all play on a team and as a coach uh please don't see me as an adversary as somebody who is trying to let's say um provoke you or or put you down or anything like that i'm holding everyone here accountable to the vision of our company we want to be able to inspire delight everyone everyone every time we want to do that by positively transforming guest partners and employees okay so that is why we do this this is actually why we do everything here in this company and participating in this vision and this mission makes us all feel part of one movement and it's not just the people who are here currently it's the people who have been here before as interns the people who will come in the future this one thread links us all together in a in a quite an inspirational way so feel the the impact of that legacy and feel the um the importance in the kind of work that we do here because at the end of the day we do do quality work okay we do there is purpose in what we do we, we are rebuilding the tourism economy in indonesia one guest at a time all right so when you think of it that way then there are things as wins and there are things as losses so i want to share with you uh, a loss that i've recently discovered and it's it's not great but it needs to be transparent so that we all can see and understand what is going on exactly okay and i want you guys to also feel uh more comfortable at some point sharing your own losses and perhaps your own um areas where where you have let's say you know have, haven't done the best job okay because once again this is the space to share this is the place to repair this is the place where we can get better so um the other day i asked jessica who is brilliant by the way she's on our team and um i want everyone to feel appreciation that jessica actually fulfilled one of the core values of um inspired delight and also details matter and also being transparent so what we discovered through Jessica's analysis as our data analyst, as our business analyst, was this. Altogether, in February, we missed out on close to 200 million worth of unconverted inquiries, okay? 200 million of unconverted inquiries just didn't get processed. So is that significant or not? Well, the answer, of course, is yes that's quite a lot of money and that's quite a lot of impact we could have had now the overall revenue goal was something on the order of i think 55 or, or something but we were only 1000 short of attaining the goal which to me seems like we could have gotten there had we just been a little bit more um skilled and a little bit more knowledgeable about how to actually process inquiries and reservations so from now on, what we're going to do is this. I'd just like to share with you some of Jessica's findings that I think are pretty substantial. And please try not to think of it as something too personal, okay? We're all here to learn. We're all here to improve. But take it upon yourself if you do see yourself on this board as something you can improve. And even if your name isn't on this board, it only really means two things. It means either you haven't tried to take any inquiries or you're perfect at doing inquiries and that's why there's none uh, no losses on your side. Okay. So, um, that's, that's the way I would like to begin a uh, first thing. Let's take a look. So we can see even, even our senior leaders here are perfect, right? The first inquiry is 60 million. It's for Labak, uh, from Nursina. This one's coming from Nadine. Nadine was in charge of that. That one did not get converted. However, in this particular case, I see that Nadine actually shouldn't be answering inquiries. She should be actually giving more opportunities for you guys to be answering inquiries, right? So in a way, this 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 is an unfortunate uh, occurrence, but I would actually like to see more um, new people actually give up, step up and ask for assistance from Nadine in this particular case to convert this, okay? So that's 60 million right away, gone, there. The other one is this one, Sasha Despacito. This inquiry was worth 42 million, but it also did not get converted. This one was uh, looked after by Dimas. 
I'm not sure where Demas is actually at the moment, but uh, but anyways, yeah, Demas um, missed on this one. There was another one here, Antoine, 41 million, also lost by Demas. Um, another one, 25 million by Nadine. Another one, 15. Oh, okay, all right, understood. understood. Thank you for stating that. Um, okay, I don't have all the visibility, so I appreciate what somebody can tell me. Actually, thank you. So. Um, anyways, we've taken a look and see that there are a sequence of inquiries where conversion did not happen. Now, because uh, I don't actually have access to the accounts, um, what I asked for before was, if your name does show up here, please bring the case that has been lost, and let's bring that case to discussion. Irma, I see you nodding your head. So Irma probably has seen some of this, and let's bring it in yeah. and discuss. What I hope to do is this. This is a failure, of course. 200 million is not trivial. And by the way, it was at least 200 million because this is just the top 10. Um, there were more inquiries that did not convert it. So if we added them up, it might have been even more than 200 million. Okay. So this is not the best place to begin, but it is where I want to fail fast. I don't want to lose another 200 million next month, another 200 million next month. I want to reduce the amount of losses to where if it is actually a loss, it's because it's a high quality issue. And we, you know, this person was just, you know, impossible to negotiate with, or they were completely frivolous. And that's the reason we lost it. Okay. All right. Can we agree to do that? Can we agree all to fail fast now and take a look and examine how we can get better? Okay. If you agree, give me a thumbs up. Okay. Okay. All right. Fantastic. Thank you. All right. Now, let's go into the matter at hand here and take a look at some of the work that we normally do. So what I'd like to do now is to share the mirror whiteboard. And here, I want my negotiators and persuaders here to be lions. I want you guys to be strong, okay? And in order to be strong, it also means this. I appreciate when people step on my toes. I appreciate when people challenge me. It really makes me really inspired because it means that you know what you're doing actually and you believe in what you're doing so by no means let me ever uh persuade you about something that you do not truly believe in okay so take take it upon yourself to to challenge take it upon yourself to debate we are all polite we're all rational reasonable people uh, forget that i'm ceo for a moment here i'm just jing i'm your coach and i'm here to make sure that everyone actually learns how to positively transform okay so i'll take off my ceo hat and I'm just I'm just the the reservation coach, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at some of this reservation work. And thank you, everyone. I saw a lot of pre-meeting activity. I love that. I love it because it means that we have more time on the meeting to actually participate. And I'm very proud. I'm very proud that I think this chapter has mastered the use of this new format uh, far more than other groups I've seen. So. Uh, we should give ourselves some credit, I think, for fast adoption here. Okay, uh, I'm going to stop my other screen share so we can focus on the mural board. And let's get to it. Let's go and take a look at some of the fresh material that is here. So, Irma, tell us a little bit. I see you have a new thread on the far left. Is this something that you have just placed put down, Irma? Uh, uh, new one, sir? Yes, is is this new pink thread okay. the one? Okay, this is your 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 inquiry that did not get converted. Is this correct? Ah, uh, yes, correct. Okay, right. this great, one is from... great. Thank you, Irma, for your transparency and showing us. Your yes. work. Okay, may may this be good guidance for the rest of the team. Tell us what happened here. Uh, with a T bolt. Uh, with a second sir. Okay. Uh, actually, I cannot read in a mirror because the uh, Tulisan, okay. I can't read it. I'll, I'll help you. So, I'll help you so, to, to so read I it, just right? want to explain. Oh, okay. Seems like we lost Irma. So I'll, I'll, I'll help uh, Irma. Yes, Irma. Okay, you're back. All right, tell us more. Uh, hello? Everyone can hear my voice. Yes, Irma. We can hear you. Or I can okay. hear you. I hope everyone else can too. Okay, this one is from T Bolt. Okay. This one is from T Bolt. Yeah. He wants to book in a Despachito and 
actually this one is still we, we can still follow up because they still want to convert in March if I'm not mistaken if in a 17 March if I'm not mistaken and yeah the last follow-up that I can that I do is about a, about a, his visiting but she are not replaying he is not replaying yet but I think I do some mistake in yes. <laughs> in this part. Like in the after I asked about uh, about the visiting, just like sorry, let replay me. I know how about tomorrow. Uh, actually, I I can do my best to explain why you can why he cannot uh, visiting on today, and so we, it's more clear for him to make a decision too like this from our side like, okay thank you very much irma for setting it up for everyone here please go ahead and put a yeah. sticky note put a sticky note and write what do you think irma should have done okay what should irma have done in order to, to have more successfully converted this inquiry into an actual deal okay let's take a few seconds for everybody to put in their thoughts and i will go last of course because that way you guys can't get the answer from me have to think about it. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's uh, let's take a look. I think we have some pretty good answers here, and then we have some answers that are uh, could be approved. Actually, let's go to um, let's go to Aya. Aya, take a look around. Look at your answer. Look at everyone else's answer. Which answer do you think is the best? What should Irma have done in order to have had a more successful conclusion to this particular inquiry? Okay, um, I think instead of your just saying, may I know what time you would like to feed it, um, I would like to say, like, explain why we should, why Tibalt should um, give the exact time. So Tibalt not only just, was, um, I mean, uh, he will get to understand why we cannot give any time for him to visit the, the property. Right. And also need more engagement, I think, so that so Tibalt also will more, um okay lebih dihargai words english a bit valued ah uh, yeah that's it okay all right very good let's go over to great great can guests visit a property before they book mm, yep 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 okay. that is possible okay yep how would we pass the address to this person without violating airbnb rules 
Mm, we actually just um we didn't send the link, sir, but we actually just say the name oh. of the property actually. And we didn't say maps. So we just say uh you can um let's say I think this this guy wants to book at this patito, right? Okay. And so it's like if you can search uh Despachito Love by Book at Vista and you can look around there and it should pop up. Okay. Yeah. What do we do if the guest then goes directly to the partner, books with them and doesn't tell us about it? Then we usually that actually a very good question because that right. actually will pop up. Mm -hmm. I think in Toki actually. Okay. All right. So because the partner will book uh, right. the same date. All right. Yeah. So All right. Like, I right. think that's how we discover. Right. Yep. Very good. So in general, we do not actually want on Airbnb the guests to visit the property before they've actually made a booking. And the policy on Airbnb is no or no visits before somebody has actually made a booking. Okay. So I would tend to and strategically in the very beginning, I would avoid any visits and say the policy on Airbnb says you have to make a booking beforehand, but is there anything we can talk about that would make you feel more comfortable, right? What they can do obviously is this. You can, if they're, let's say, concerned about their booking and whether or not they're gonna be spending money for something they don't like, say, hey, look, if you're unhappy in the first hour after you arrive, I'd be really happy to give you 100% refund on the transaction, okay? So that can be clearly arranged just through a um, Airbnb intervention with their customer service. And that's that's fine, right? So they, they have a money back guarantee if it doesn't work out the way they want, but they would have to make the booking first. Now, most people on Airbnb, they already have their credit cards you know, scheduled in, so that shouldn't be an issue. Let's go over to, oh, let's go over to Irma. Irma. Uh, sir, uh, I, I just have a question. If we do refund for the first set, is make an increase our cancellation? Is that correct? Ah, right. Okay, let's go over to Gray. What is our cancellation policy on last minute bookings, Gray? No, no full refund, actually. So that's why yeah. I oh, raised the fair. hand. Oh, it's because it's uh, it depends on the partner, too. Uh, Most partner uh, actually doesn't want if they have already prepared the room and want to give a full refund. I see. I see. But would they yep. be able to then? Um, OK, OK. Interesting. Interesting. So we cannot offer. A full yeah. Refund then, yeah. Yeah. Especially if it's last minute cancellation, like you said, um, they already checked in for like one hour. So I don't think it's also uh, profitable and also uh, from Katlidis, actually, Katlidis also said that um, it is advice if it's really last minute cancellation, um, then it's partial refund. Don't give. Full I see. Refund. I see. I see. Okay. Yeah. Even even if it, this is not so much last minute, it's it's almost like an inspection, and then if they don't like it, then um, okay. If it's that case, then let's not change the policy. Thank you, uh, Irma, and thank you, Gray, for uh, doing exactly like we agreed to in the very beginning. All right, you're stepping back. And telling me what the what the rules are so that's that's important okay so we are looking at a situation where we don't have that available okay so we have to make a strategic call do we actually allow this person to see the property or do we not um great based on your experience most times after a guest has seen the property do you hear back from them or does it just kind of go into black hole and we don't know what happened um it's 50 50 sir okay usually before uh before visit, mm -hmm. I say, uh, will you be bothered to tell us what you think yeah. of the property after visit? Usually yes. I say that. Okay. Um, and they usually say, oh yeah, that's fine. And then they okay. usually say, but some of them also doesn't reach back and we need to follow them back up. I see, I see. Okay, yep. all right, very good. Let's just keep the current policy then. We will, can just use the suggestion of how they can find the property and uh, we'll just take it from there. Okay, uh, let's go over to Erica. Erica, tell us a little bit more about um, where Irma could have done better in this particular case. And Erica, also, before you give your answer, please take a look at everyone else's answer and see, does anybody have a better answer than you? And you can state that one if you think it's a better answer, okay? Erica, you have the floor. Actually, I don't really uh, know about the do and don'ts for this guest squad, but mm -hmm. here uh, he looks very excited and stated that he wants to, uh, to visit today and uh, the answer from Irma, uh, Irma is quite late. Uh, maybe it's 
because he is very uh, she's she was very busy and mm -hmm. uh, after that she directly over him to visit tomorrow and ignore his question about the property address right okay right 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 there's we're not we're not actually addressing the key thing that this person wants to do which is they they want to know where the property is okay but let's there's another detail there yoga i think you're on to the right path to yoga yoga um take a look at other people's answers take a look at your own answer what say you what is the missing piece here that irma should have detected and pursued and maybe that would have resulted in an inquiry being converted okay um i think basically irma uh need to more engage uh, i agree yes. with aya mm -hmm. uh, she need to discover more about why uh the the guest is w w wanted to look to, to the property so bad yep i i think he had a reason right yeah so yeah i think that's it okay very good so let's go back to yoga yoga what stage do you think this negotiation is in one two three four or five um i think from my perspective is from uh, building trust and discovery. Okay. Like right. So the guest has already trusted us in the very beginning. They've already kind of come out completely and said, this is what I want. This is what I'm looking forward to. And we don't even need to discover. They are revealing in this case. So the guest has actually jumped to step three already in this case. So it's just a matter of, actually, it's not even, it, it's a matter of pattern matching now. Okay. It's a matter of pattern matching. We're actually in a stage four. Uh, Yoga is correct. We need to dig a little bit deeper about the motivation because once again, Irma, if you know more about their motivation, right, it seems like you need this in a hurry, right? It looks like this can't be delayed any further, right? So so try to extract what, what it is about it that, that they want in such a hurry. Does anybody see anything else? There's one important thing that has not been discussed yet, but is a super important detail, I think, in this conversation. Let's go over to Aya. Aya, what do you see? Take another look at this and see where it's along the same theme that everyone has been poking around on. See if you see it. Do you see what else is missing in this dialogue? Okay, um, I think, uh, yes, like I said before, in this, this kind of like us now, because remember you said about the time he can, when he want to visit the villa and also I think, instead of just saying about the you cannot visit today or something like that we can also explain um the pros about the property first uh before the guests give us the acceptance because i think he will also need more time to to arrange his schedule right right we should actually explain the pros about the property but do we need to even explain the pros about the property or do we just need to answer specific questions that this person has already asked us about the property. Um, I think it's um, it doesn't matter if just only for the exact question, like the area or some uh, facilities he want. Mm -hmm. Not it didn't it didn't need for the details, but just in a specific question. Okay. Uh, here's uh, okay. All good input, but here's the main point here. Okay, listen. This is a stage four negotiation. This person's already revealed what they want. It seems to be very crucial. They seem to have also implied through their anxiousness that timing is fairly important, okay? So just go up to the very top again. This is where we could have begun, right? Do you have room available for us? You know, um, nobody actually responded that it's available. Right? Yes, I think the room suits you. <laughs> Do you have any special requirements? Uh, thank you for the quick response. Can I see the room today? Thank you for reaching us. You know, nobody actually said this room is available. Simple, yes or no question, right? Is it available? So we didn't answer their first question. Didn't actually say whether the room was available, okay? Second, do you think the room is big enough for us to study in? And the answer by Tendi is a terrible answer. I think it is big enough. Is that a good answer? No. No. Because we don't know what big enough is for this particular person, right? So this is where missed expectations are. What if the guest thinks big is they need 100 square meters? And then Tendi thinks, you know, 10 is fine, right? So in this particular case, by saying, I think it's big enough, you are putting yourself now accountable 
for a feeling. And this is where all kinds of reservations can go wrong. Okay. This is where you said the room was big enough and it's tiny. Well, I didn't know what you meant. Well, you could have actually asked, right? So what is the better response in this case? Yoga, what do you think would have been the better response instead of saying, I think it's big enough? Um, what should we have said? Um, maybe we could uh, ask uh, about how many people that want to stay in the property so we can know the we already exact... know that. We already know that. They put it on the inquiry form. An Airbnb oh. inquiry should have okay. actually the number of guests that are on it. So that would be a mm. redundant question. Okay. But what, what should we do? What should we do in this particular case? I think we need to make sure that the room is pretty big. I think we can't. Uh, we, we can't change the size of the room. We're we're not in the business of of stretching the room out any bigger than it already is. We can't do that. So what can we do? Uh, but I think it's it's the it's the main reason why he w uh, would like to check directly the property That's right. because he wanted to make sure the right. prop and the rooms are big enough. Right. So what can we do in this case? Let's go over to uh, uh, let's go over to Erica. Erica, what's your thoughts? Uh, maybe we can do mirroring, like ask big enough, so she, uh, so he can uh, um, explain what is the definition of big enough for him. Great, but is that the best answer, Erica? You're asking a question, so then he's going to be like, da, 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 you know, like it's it's gonna it's gonna prolong the engagement. You see, it's already a few hours between each response and callback, response and callback. And remember, you want to close the deal as quickly as possible, just like the guest does. So by asking them another question, you you prolong the engagement, you make this even longer. It's not a bad idea to be certain, but it's not the best. Let's keep on going. Let's see if we find another idea that that could be. Uh, let's go to Irma. Irma, what do you think we could have said? Uh, in, my in my opinion, I will uh, double check first. I, I said to Tabut, I will check it first. Mm -hmm. And then I will ask to group in this uh, yeah. What's a specific uh, matters? Yes. Uh, matters with in the home like this. Great. Why don't yeah. we actually tell them? Hey, look, this room is this many meters by this many meters. That's how big it is. You can't be wrong for saying that. Okay, that would be a really good answer. Yeah. And then more in line, you can be empathetic. They're asking for space, so you can go. Hey, this is a single bedroom. Let's say you didn't have time to ask, Irma. Let's say you know you want to get back right away so that this person can get this deal. Yeah. So you can say, I don't really know exact size of it, but I do know that, for example, there is a lounge area and a restaurant area with a lot of space. It's a small, intimate cafe, and a lot of our guests find it very comfortable to study there. Would that be suitable for your purposes? Okay, so this is stage four which is you really need to understand the product. You need to understand what is in the product, what does the product entail? And if you really understand the product, you can say, sometimes our guests who stay for a long time, they get bored, so then they go across the street and there's a beautiful cafe that has even more space, right? And this is the speed of the Wi-Fi, okay? And that would be a perfect answer. All right, let's go over to uh, Aya. Aya, your question, please. So uh, how about if we say it like, uh, for example, this pasito can consist of uh, three or four people, for example. Mm -hmm. So how about we say, if you mean big enough for uh, for study uh, by two people, it's, yes, it's big enough for you just to study. But if you want to like do another thing mm -hmm. here. No. no, don't say that, right? Don't say that, mm -hmm. Aya, because you are now giving your opinion for what the guest actually should need. Okay? So maybe, yeah, you're, you're kind of selling the negative point here. You don't. You, you don't want to you don't want to say anything like you don't want to say this is my recommendation okay because you might have the wrong recommendation you say it's great for two people you say it's whatever but the guest doesn't agree yeah. you kind of want to stick to fact and benefit okay fact and benefit and better yet fact benefit and a story so you can say something like this this is a bedroom most of our guests sleep here but when we do have guests that actually want more space to study they generally use the lounge and restaurant areas. These are open areas with fast Wi-Fi access and you know and, and plenty of space, right? So that is a fact. There's no di di there's no dispute about that later. They, when they go there, they can't say, "Well, you said this was big enough for three people, and 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 I can't even fit myself in here." Um, how are you supposed to argue that? You have no facts. But when you stick to facts 
and then you elaborate what could be the benefit of the fact, then that's a different thing, okay? So let's say, for example, here's another approach you could have done. Let's say you take a look at the photos and you realize that there's desks in the room. So you could say, you know, what I see here is, I see actually there's two desks over here and I see two chairs. And I think that that could be a space that would be suitable for study. Would you agree? And then let them make that conclusion on their own, okay? Don't be too forward in offering your opinion because guess what? If it's your opinion versus the guest's opinion, guess who loses? It's probably us, right? Uh, so you told me this. You told me it would be good. So just stick to the fact, okay? Stick to the fact. Don't give too much recommendation unless you already know the guest so well. You know it's going to be perfect for them, okay? So stick to facts and then illustrate the benefit and answer the question. That's the most important thing here. We did not answer any of their key questions. We didn't answer, is it available? Is it suitable for, for this in a factual way? And then, you know, when can I visit? Okay. How can I actually find the property? If Irma, you did these three things, do you think you could have successfully closed the deal? I can't hear Irma for some reason. Irma, you're muted. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Sarah. I'm so sorry. Could you re repeat the question? Okay. I have a... Okay, Irma. This is the last time I'm gonna repeat the question. Make sure your equipment works well. Okay. So here, yes, if you did these three things, okay, you need to have made sure that you answered the first question about is it available. The second question yeah. about the facts about the space in terms of how suitable it is to studying, which we didn't really attempt at all. And the third question is, can we make an appointment to see it? And if so, when and where is the location? Now, if you answer those three questions in detail, do you think the guests would have booked? Um, I think, uh, um, I think yes. Yeah, clearly yeah. so. What would have been their reason not to book? You yeah. answered all their questions. They have no more doubt right so that's the big takeaway everyone for this example make sure you answer the question okay if you don't know exactly what it is go in the group get the facts if you don't know if you can't get the answer for that in time take a look at the pictures try to understand as much as possible from the listing all the information about a particular property is in the listing that's the way that the content team has been supporting you and the guest to actually know about the product every piece of knowledge wi-fi speed whatever the, the surrounding area that should all be inside the listing so if you can't find the answer in the listing it probably there's there's no better source okay so um yes let's go over to gray gray what do you say uh no yeah i actually agree but i just have a question because um uh the start of uh, the answer of the inquiry is not really good, actually. Oh yeah, so why is it I, good? And, and we should bring Tendi here, right? Yeah, that's that's what I'm. That's what I was about to ask because um, do you think we should bring hosting team because they also will answer inquiry? I think... so. How skilled we are if uh, they answer it yeah. the first time like this, then there is no use. I know, I know. It is actually a terrible first response, Irma. Yeah, and great because. You're answering a question with more questions, right? That's a terrible <laughs> yeah. way to answer somebody's question. Hey, is it available? Uh, you know, I think this this place is great for you. Do you have any special requirements? It's like what? I, you know, this isn't even. <laughs> this is this is just like like you know whatever. I I think what this comes from is a position of just not being empathetic, right? <laughs> it's just not empathetic. Somebody's asking you a question. Just answer their question please all right don't ask a question back that's that's not a good you know how how imagine you're lost in jakarta okay and you ask where is the um where is the train station and they say are you hungry for lunch today mm. <laughs> what, what the fuck are you talking about right like i just okay answer my question and then ask me if i'm hungry for lunch right that that would actually make a little bit more sense but you're right this is more of a team management issue, Gray. I don't have, let's say, a direct uh, influence in how the guest squad is functioning right now, but that might change soon, okay? Um, it really depends on the rotation. Uh, yes, 
perhaps you can actually tell Tendi to not do this in the future. Okay, step on his toes because this isn't a good way to actually begin. I'm not even kidding about that. Tendi should know better. This is uh, uh, this is not shame on Irma. This is shame on Tendi, number one, because then Irma probably looked at the way Tendi was responding and went, oh, who's right? Tendi or Jing? Tendi or Jing, right? Uh, it's always me, okay, in this particular case. That's why I'm CEO. Um, so in this particular case, believe me, and don't follow the example. Tendi hasn't been to the conversion class yet, so he might not know some of our techniques, okay? Um, if you ask Wendy, Wendy was an intern here before, she'll tell you everything we do here has changed. And that happens also. Seniority does not necessarily mean that somebody has more knowledge, okay? Uh, unless it's my case in particular as your coach for conversion, okay? I, I, I do know best here. So that's an administration issue. Uh, great. I can't, I can't say because I know we have shifts and sometimes hosts do that. If you see it, mm -hmm. please just tell the host to stop doing that because that messes up your conversions, okay? So yep. um, just just step on each other's toes in this particular um, case, okay? Yes. Uh, for, I also have a follow-up question, actually. Sure. Uh, okay. Just well, by what you said because um, you said uh, don't ask questions when they already have questions because actually yeah. on our guideline, Mm -hmm. we do call to action so it's kind of contradicting because oh. every time we reply inquiry we need to do call to action oh like <laughs> would you like to make a booking now right yeah or like uh so what do you think okay. Okay. we usually just say yeah that. yeah okay uh, let, let's let's rewind a little bit I, I need to i need to um thank you for pointing that out great that's an excellent question i need to uh give some limits to that you can ask a question after you've answered a question just like back to that example, mm, yep, yep. if I ask you, where's the train station? You know, don't ask me, have I had lunch yet? That That's senseless, right? Answer my questions first. The train station is over there. You need to walk three minutes to get there. By the way, you look hungry. Would you like to have lunch? I sell boxo, right? That is a far more effective way, I think, than are you hungry? I sell boxo, right? So, so yeah, answer the question and then you can proceed to try to close the deal with the follow-up question. I think that's fine, okay? Or you can start a follow-up question to discover, right? Or a label to build engagement or an accusation on it or whatever it might be. But I think the, uh, yeah, to, to just answer a question with a question, that's not very effective, okay? It's, it's uh, answer the question first and then ask another question, okay? Yeah, thank you for qualifying that. So it's not the guidelines wrong, but I just need to qualify what I said, okay? Great. All right, one last question for everyone here. Did Irma do the correct thing in trying to re-engage the guest at the very end? Let's go to Aya. Aya. No, Aya. Okay. All right. Let's go to yoga. Yoga, what, 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 what is the correct way to re-engage a guest that has broken off contact? Uh, I think we need to give it more uh, no oriented question. Yeah, like okay. such as what? Such as what, Yoga? What would be um, the correct way? Uh, hello, hello, Taiwan. Uh, <laughs> hello, Taiwan. Um, may I know that you um, still have uh, need to visit the. That's problem. a yes oriented question. <laughs> yes oriented question. That's not a no oriented question. Um, let's go over to Erica. Erica, set us up with the correct no-oriented question here. Um, uh, maybe if Irma is okay for him to visit the property, maybe she can say, I already say the time for you today to visit. Would, would you be opposed if we can, if you visit at this time? Blah, yeah, blah, blah. excellent. Would you be opposed to visiting this property at this time now, right? A solution and then a no-oriented question, right? Gives them the choice saying no which is easier okay and then the other way you could say is simply have you chosen to give up on this property now right another no oriented question far more effective than yes oriented questions irma has tebow gotten back to us yet no sir right right so you didn't use the no oriented question try the no oriented question next time and i can say that you'll probably get a higher return response okay mm -hmm. have you chosen to give up on this particular option okay just as that or you use what erica said are you would you be opposed to actually visiting the property now i've made arrangements okay but once again uh 
Erica, doing that at the very end is already past. It's it, in America we call it closing the door after the horse has left the house, right? So ideally, you want to do this at the right time. Timing is very important in these cases, and close that door before it goes out. All right, Irma, if you get that, that's fifteen million that goes into our revenue target, and it would make everybody much much happier because you know where bonuses are paid from. They're paid from people making revenue for the company. So it would make you happy and make all the rest of the company happy. All right. So that's case one. Let's go over to Gray's case. Gray, tell us about your case now. Oh my God. Mm. Speaking of person, Dimitri. With <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this is actually quite interesting because I actually just engage on the, the very, very last. Uh, so, uh, but from the above, I see that um, I think Dimitri wants uh of a two bedroom uh villa mm -hmm. but i think it just goes too long and my last and my last uh, response is also not the best i don't know why mm -hmm. i say that okay yeah. let's go ahead and take a look okay so for everybody once again please read this and tell us what you would have done differently okay tell us where you think the problem was where did demas i think this is mostly demas yeah gray where did Demas could improve yep. and what would you have done differently? Let's take a minute and post your stickies on it. <laughs> yes that's why when i was screenshotting i was like why did i say this okay Okay, this is an interesting one. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look. I see Grace put up her responses, which is funny. And I'm just waiting for everybody else to put in what they see as well. Okay. Can't use sticky yoga. What happened? Yeah, I, I don't know. I tried to copy it and paste okay. and yoga. Do this. Just go, go ahead and post what you would say in the chat window, and uh, and we'll put a sticky up for you. Okay. All right. Just put your analysis in the chat window, and uh, I'll go ahead and make a sticky for you. How about that, yoga? How's that for helping others? It's great. Thank you, sir. Thank you. 
<laughs> okay. All right, let's go to Gray first. Uh, uh, while Gray and I talk, we can uh, please kind of listen a little bit and uh, continue to write your answers if you have one. All right, uh, Gray, tell us where you think this broke down. Um, I think um, from the first one, uh, it's already good. It's up to guideline. They're saying um, gratitude. Thank you so much for your interest in our property. Right. Um, I think it's also the same as the other one. Yeah. Um, Dimas doesn't really explicitly answer because he said, uh, my family needs to bedroom for a couple of months. Right. And he didn't say, oh, yeah, we have this two bedroom available for you. Right. He, Dimas just focus on the visit, actually. That's right. That's right. Actually, he didn't answer the question. Can I check your rooms? Yes. You may he also. Okay. Yeah. He said it with, uh, you may have a visit first instead of, I think Dimas could have mirrored right. the sentence instead of making a new sentence to make it more clear. I think, I think so. I think so. And, and the strange thing is this. So after Dimitri has sent over the contact information, um, why? Okay. This is, this is where the breakdown is actually. Yeah. After Dimitri sent over the contact information, Irma picked it up. Okay. Yeah, it switched the shift. Right, which is kind of weird because mm -hmm. it's not being very helpful, right? Yep. It then makes the the guest think what? Mm, like, well, like he's not handled well because it's right. mix of person. Right, 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 right. Who's so that? like this person might not know what I want before. Correct. Correct. Okay. Yeah. So here's the thing. Um if irma you did the right thing like we're not supposed to exchange contact information with the guest but irma forgot to do something that would have been more helpful let's go to okay yeah there may be a, <laughs> yeah. many people engaging with dimitri okay yeah yoga i'll put that up there that is clearly the case yeah there's far too many cooks in the kitchen here but let's let's try to think collectively as a team let's go to safira uh Aya. what do you think here should Irma have responded the way that she did, or could she have responded differently to be a bit more helpful? Actually, I'm kind of confused while reading this because I think we didn't know the property yet, but we just focus on oh, why he cannot God. visit the villa, the NC, something oh like that. Oh my God. We, okay. All right. It's That's much more um, uh, discovery. Let's go to Gray. Gray, why don't we know what property he's inquiring for? Oh, oh, like this one. Uh, wait. Um, you mean I should I should supposed to screenshot the property? I think it's this well, is the Buck guest I, house. Right. So what I'm wondering is why is it unclear to our reservation team? Oh, what he's asking about. Uh, because um. What he's asking is actually different on what he inquired. So, you know, sir, if uh, people inquire to properties, it will only be in one thread. Oh, right. So the details in the right changes if he acquire a new property. So if he referred to back to another property, then it's a different one. I see. Because um, he said, uh, is your villa available from first March for three to six months? And if I'm not mistaken, this is uh, in the details. It's Labak Guest House, and Labak right. Guest House is not a villa. Right. That's why we ask ah. you know, which villa you're referring to. And he said another different listing than the reservation that he. Wow. Made. Okay. Yep. So Aya, um, good catch. Did you catch that too, Aya? So you saw that the property he was acquiring was different from the one that was seen on the listing or seen on the listing. Yeah. Yes, I think uh, what he means is different with what Dimas or Irma or Gray mean. So there's a yeah, confusion here. I see. Okay, so what should we have done then in this particular case at, uh, at Irma's stop? Irma's response, what should she have asked for? Um, uh, she needs to clarify for the property first and mm -hmm. instead of focus on the visit TNC before, yeah. just clarify for the like the, uh, booking, something like that. Clearly so, clearly so. Okay, Irma, over to you. 
Was it clear to you before he uh, when he responded with the contact information about which property he was actually referring to, Irma? Um, I see, sir. I think he when he gave a, a contact, it is still in a Lebagas house. Mm -hmm. But it, but after that, he he more give up us more detail about um uh, the about the visa thing right. and then and then yeah yeah after after the must replay that she, uh, she give us a more what's called um more references about what he wanted he wanted mm. to check a villa and from this i i'll know that she he actually looking for villa you know the guest house because it because he, he said it's to check a feel out in Hmong. Okay. So in this particular case, we can't be helpful if we haven't identified what the guest needs are, right? We haven't essentially yeah. uh, figured out what they even want. So in this case, uh, this is where I would have done this. I would have identified first, hey, um, it seems like there could be two properties that you have inquired to in order to make this work faster for you and for us which property exactly do you mean once you provided me with or you know what you could even be more helpful you could even close like this if you mean property a this is the location and you can arrange a visit this time if you mean property b this is the location and i've already arranged a time at this time okay that would be a superior result right so you're anticipating what they might actually want and let's say at best you've already arranged two two meetings right two appointment times when they could actually go see it um that's how i would actually do this with the minimum number of engagements and trying to be the most helpful rather than saying no i can't help you um i can't share this detail with you whatever whatever if we've already agreed like earlier that we can share an address with a person if that's our policy we share an address and they find it themselves then then just say hey look if you mean this property then this is it. This is the address. If you mean this property, this is the address, right? Let's go to Gray. Gray, what do you think about that solution? Is that a elegant and fast way to resolve this instead of asking more questions and kind of like developing a super long thread that's confusing? Mm, I think that could be possible, actually. All right, cool, cool. Yeah. Because we've already identified that seems to be, right? Actually, we've already identified by the time he's responded to Irma, his most important but say factor is inspecting, right? Being able to, mm -hmm. to look at the goods and see if they actually represent what's in the photos. So in this particular case, all we need to do is to offer, let's say, hey, this is property A. If you mean property A, this is the place you'll find it. This is the time you can see it. If you mean property B, this is property B, and this is the location, and this is how you can see it too as well. So doing that, we've given all the information up front. We pattern matched really quickly, and this person is ready to go. Okay. There doesn't need, okay, listen, everybody on Airbnb, which is a little bit different than when we do, let's say a business development deal on Airbnb, a lot of the discovery has already been done. Okay. A lot of discovery has already been done. You have context, you know, the dates they want it, you know, which property they want. You can even click on their profile and see where they're from. You can click on their profile and see what previous properties they've booked. So that discovery process is much, much faster and much, much more uh, fluid than let's say when you have to do a face-to-face -face negotiation, okay? So you can kind of cut to the chase a lot of times and just offer stage four. This is the pattern. This is what works for you, okay? Let's go over to Aya. Aya, you had a question. Um, yes. Um, so is it okay if we just jump to the pattern matching then yeah, just doing yeah. discovery? Yeah, you can. You can. Oh, you can my God, the pattern matching if, if you feel confident that you've already mm -hmm. understood what their buying decision is, okay? Now, when people are they just download on you, I need this property at this time for this, whatever. You don't need to discover too much, right? Um, you can say, okay, I can find everything that like that for you. Do you have any other requirements, right? That could be your first engagement, okay? That gives a little bit more of additional uh, discovery just in case they have anything else. But you can, you can kind of pattern match immediately based on their query. Does that make sense? Like in the previous one with Despacito, they told you, is it available? Can I see it? Does it have space for studying? You can say, yes, 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 yes. Here's, no, not, not yes, 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 yes. But here are the facts. Here's the fact. Here's the fact. 
And by the way, do you have any other requirements so that I can make sure this is a good fit for your stay? Okay, that, that's good enough, right? You can pattern match and then ensure that your response is accurate by asking a little bit more on the discovery, just in case you miss something, okay? So that allows the deal to uh, transpond. On Airbnb, what I've noticed is this. I think people trust us already because they see we have 5,000 reviews. They see that it's it's all looking okay. A lot of people probably already instant book, but you can probably move a little bit faster in this particular case. So you don't need to kind of develop trust and do the whole thing as much as let's say you're doing a business development deal where there's a lot less maybe context that's going on, okay? So I uh, yes, you can move a little bit faster but don't forget to keep discovering just in case you miss something, okay? That's that's where I would leave it. All right, um, I see that there's a few other things, but we probably won't have enough time. Let me go really quickly down here to labeling. I see that somebody has a label here. Um, Erica, this is your conversation, is that correct, for V-Living? Uh, actually, we already uh, discussed about oh. that. We already discussed it. All right, great. Workshop. What I'm going to do is I'm going to delete it now, okay? Good? It's a whiteboard, so we can delete things, right? Okay, good. All right, whiteboards are for deleting. Coda is for remembering. All right, next. Mirroring. Uh, did we talk about this already uh, on the next segment? Mirroring. Uh, when you put up a sticky, please put your name next to it. Otherwise... <laughs> I have to ask, like, who, who does this belong to? What What is this actually from? Uh, does anybody recognize this one on mirroring? Anybody know who it belongs to? Mm, nope. Okay, the guest wants to stay in Seminyak or Changu, but want a cheaper room. What should I do? Uh, because this is only transition. Okay, well noted. I asked your budget. Would you be mad with me? Okay. <laughs> uh, that's not a mirror. That's an accusation at it. Uh, <laughs> it's impossible if it's only transition. Um, yeah, that's not a mirror. That is an accusation audit. Uh, okay. And, and, and try to avoid emotion if you can. Okay. Accusation B audit is better. Um, try to, instead of saying, would you be mad at me? Say this, would you be bothered if I asked you what your budget was? Um, where would you be inconvenienced if I asked you what your budget was? Uh, would it make you uh, would it make you, I, I don't know, Try, it, the less you associate with emotion, the more um, neutral the business can go, right? It can be a little bit less passioned. I, I, that's what I would, unless, well, forget about the unless, just just use more neutral, try to avoid the emotion if you can, okay? Uh, w would it be, uh, you know, would it be, okay, just listen to what I just said, okay? All right, done. Um, let's take a look and see if there's anything else that we should cover all right and then of course wendy's long discussion last time okay that's pretty much it next week we're going to take a look at the big deals we're going to take a look at the 60 million and the 40 million and the 40 million and the 25 million deal okay so next week i think Dimas and nadine will be with us so we'll take a look and dissect those and try to understand how we could have tried to close those better all right uh mine's top right still haven't been covered yet uh which one is yours great on the right top, sir, on the uh, oh, pink, one. red, sk sticking out. Yep. Okay, and this one? Um, this ooh. one is the one inquiry from Asia Exchange that is turned down. Turned down? Yep. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, all right. That sucks. Uh, let's uh -huh. see. All right. Let's she, fa see. she found another property. Oh, no. Okay, all right. We need to take uh -huh. a look at that later then. Um, yep. Okay. Okay. Uh, Gray, let's do this. Let's go ahead and remove these. Let's clean up the whiteboard, everyone. So if you've yes, had your questions cool. answered, then just go ahead and delete it, please. And you can delete all the sticky notes. That is that is just, you know, uh, like it's a whiteboard, right? So don't, no need to keep it. Let's review the takeaways um, today. Okay. Um, answer the questions. Okay. Don't go to asking a question before you've already answered a question. So, so please answer the question. All right. Second thing is try to, in, in these cases where you have a guest or a client that's already given you a lot of their needs, you can move to stage four without having to go back and build trust again. They trust you. They already are telling you what their needs are. So in this particular case, you can just go to stage four and do the pattern matching. This stage now requires product knowledge. You need to know something 
about the properties. You need to know something about the environment. You need to know something about the kind of experience that is there. All the information you need to know is on the listing. It is either in the photos, the description, or if you want to get a story about what it feels like to be there, read the past reviews. Okay, That is the best way to understand what has happened. Airbnb is one of the easiest ways to actually close deals because there's just so much context around what we do. All right, so take that in and let's see this kind of thing never happen again, okay? I wanna see people answering the question. I wanna see people not getting, and, and maybe in the future, uh, we're talking about this policy, one person, one inquiry, okay? Not this like 15 people jumping in all at different points. It's very confusing and it doesn't really inspire delight either. It, it, it's, it's uncoordinated. So in the future, if you start the inquiry, then please be the person that, that finishes the inquiry too, okay? Any inquiry should be able to be finished within five to 10 minutes if you are skilled, if you are knowledgeable, okay? And if you can't finish it within the time, then let the guest know, I'm taking it off today. I'll be passing your inquiry to our night shift person and they will help you from there, okay? All right, that's it. Thank you everyone for coming in today for conversion and uh, happy converting. And yeah, we'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye. All right, thank you everyone. Thank you.